Welcome to Biology, My Passion. I am Soumya Harikrishna. We are learning the chapter, The Fundamental Unit of Life. In the previous videos, we discussed the discovery of cell, then the parts of cell. There are three parts for a cell, cell membrane, cytoplasm and nucleus. So we discussed plasma membrane and its structure and uh, different properties associated with it in detail. After that, we discussed nucleus and its structure in detail. And in the previous video, we discussed the differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes and also cytoplasm. Today, we will discuss the cell organelles in detail. We are starting with endoplasmic reticulum. We know in the higher cells, that means higher cells or complex cells means what? The eukaryotic cells. They have lot of biochemical reactions taking place within the cytoplasm. So to increase the efficiency of those reactions, there are compartmentalizations. That means different parts of the cells are doing different function. And each one is isolated from the other or the rest of the cytoplasm by a membrane. They, many of these structures are microscopic. They are collectively called cell organelles. They perform various functions in order to keep the cell living. We are going to study certain cell organelles like endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi bodies, lysosome, vacuoles, mitochondria and plastids. Let us begin with endoplasmic reticulum. So first let us analyze this term endoplasmic reticulum or short form we call it as ER. Endo means inside, plasmic means cytoplasm. Inside the cytoplasm a reticulum. Reticulum means what? Network. So, under microscope, you will find reticulate-like structures or network-like structures within the cytoplasm. They are called an endoplasmic reticulum. So, uh, they appear as tubules or vesicles. These membrane-bound structures, if they are elongated and tube-like, they are called a tubules. If they are just a bag-like structure, they are called a vesicles. Now, the endoplasmic reticulum we can divide into two types. First is RER or rough endoplasmic reticulum and SER or smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So RER is rough because they appear rough under the microscope. Why do they appear rough? Because they have ribosomes on their surface. Whereas Smooth endoplasmic reticulum appear smooth under microscope because they do not have ribosomes attached to them. Suppose this is a cell, I am drawing animal cell, so no cell wall. Uh, here is the nucleus in the center. The outer part of the nucleus, that is the outer membrane, membrane of the nucleus is in continuation with some reticulate like structures that I am drawing with this red like this ok so the same way here also like this or away from this also we can see certain structures or network like this so Usually the ones which are associated with nucleus or the near the nucleus, they will have ribosomes. What are ribosomes? Ribosomes are nothing but the organelles which are involved in synthesis of protein. They are also certain organelles but they are responsible for making proteins in the cell. So we can say that the manufacturing of protein in the cell is taking place over the endoplasmic reticulum with the help of ribosomes. So, the ribosomes are present on the surface. So, they are rough under the microscope. They are called a rough endoplasmic reticulum. These are not having ribosomes on their surface. As a result, they appear smooth. Ribosomes are involved in protein synthesis or they are the protein manufacturing factory of the cell. So, uh, in effect, we can say proteins are synthesized on the surface of RER, right? And later, this protein will be uh, transported to different parts of the uh, cell, different parts of the cell as per the requirement. The same way, 
here smooth endoplasmic reticulum they don't have ribosome so can they prepare protein no so but they can prepare lipid or fat so lipids are also equally important for the cell so the lipids and proteins will be utilized for doing various functions in the cell so one example if we say when we learn plasma membrane i told you the composition of plasma membrane do you remember what is plasma membrane made of yes they are made up of proteins and the lipids so when the cell has to make a new membrane or new organelles it has to make the membrane so for making the membrane the cell needs proteins as well as lipids so proteins produced by the rer and lipids produced by the ser can be used for making new proteins which are lipoproteinaceous in nature that is made up of lipids and proteins this process is called the membrane bio genesis genesis means what synthesis synthesis of biological membrane that is membrane biogenesis using the lipids produced by ser and the proteins produced by rer some proteins and lipids also act as hormones or enzymes required for the cell so though they differ in their shapes and structure they always form a reticulate or the network within the cell now we have to see the function of endoplasmic reticulum first it acts like channels for transport of materials like proteins because proteins are mainly synthesized on their surface so the proteins have to be transported within the cell sometimes from the nucleus to the cytoplasm or from one end of the cytoplasm to the other side of the cytoplasm so whatever it is they are acting as the transporting channel okay not only proteins but for many substances then second they act as a cytoplasmic framework providing a surface for many biochemical reactions one reaction is the protein synthesis itself where is it happening on the surface so it is providing a platform for the chemical reaction to take place though we drew like one line they are all flat membranes you have to remember that it's not that one line they are flat membrane folding so they have enough surface area to provide for chemical reactions and the third in liver cells of vertebrates only in vertebrates you know vertebrates means the animals with the backbone that is uh, starting from fishes amphibians reptiles apes and mammals in them the uh, ser present in the liver cells can detoxify certain drugs and poisons liver is a detoxifying organ means if some drugs or poisons get inside our body uh, to a greater extent liver can detoxify them or nullify their effect so that is done by the ser present in the liver cells of vertebrate animals these are the important points in endoplasmic reticulum any organelle when we are study we have to study three aspects their structure their location and their function hope you like my videos please like share and subscribe to my channel biology my passion